special for you. My favorite place is Disney World. <laughs> I don't know. I don't quite remember. Maybe something happened there, but I was too young to remember. That's where my mom died. I don't remember <laughs> since when it became my favorite place. It must... It's nice to have a special place. I don't have one. Oh! Isn't this corridor a special place for you? I always find you here. Maybe you're right. This is the place where I met you, after all. Oh, we can make this place special together! Aww! Did you say something? Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Oh my gosh, you didn't even hear. Say, do you, what do you usually do in your free time? Oh, you know, eSports. <laughs> Same. <laughs> That's the best possible reaction. Just... Mm. Before meeting you, I liked watching some shows on television. I love watching TV, too. What's your favorite show? My favorite is Realm Phantasma. What's that? I'm... You don't know? I thought it was well known. Look, there are plenty of Realm Phantasma posters all over the corridor in a school? Really? So, this is Realm Phantasma. What the fuck, what the fuck kind of show is this? I'm surprised that you failed to notice them despite coming here every day. My memory isn't good, and I tend to miss important details easily. Aww. It's weird because I used to have a photographic memory when I was younger. When I was alive. Nowadays, I feel my memory capacity is fading away. Aww. I see. It is, you know, I guess, um, I guess it's just the curse of being a white-haired anime <laughs> Maybe my age is catching up on me. You don't look that old. I'm 172. <laughs> Speaking of TV <laughs> shows, I like watching Genetic Glow. Whoa, isn't that like a really old show? 
I think it was popular ten years ago, but not so much now. Is that so? Shit, I'm blowing my You really throat. do sound like an old man. <laughs> That's mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's like 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not even that much older. He's just like an adult. <laughs> Time passes quickly when I talk to Ore. It starts to get dark before I notice it. It's getting late. Are you gonna go home? I would like to stay, but... No, it's okay. I feel pretty selfish for keeping you like this. Ore! It's my decision to come, and it's also my decision to stay. I'll definitely come back to see you again. Yeah. Speaking of which... What's that? It's a flyer someone dropped yesterday. Mirage flyer? Is it related to Mirage Day? Well, let's see. Mirage stands for Miraculous, Incredible, Ridiculous, Absolute, Greatest, Enigma. I wonder what's the point of this flyer. It's closer than you think. Huh? That must be it! I'm sorry, I need to go now. I've got a galaxy to save. See you later! Okay, okay, bye. I leave Ore without explaining farther. I have no idea if my deduction is correct, but I think I figured out the solution to the next mission in Mass Effect. I need to confirm it with my own eyes. Alright, let's turn off this game and start playing Mass Effect. <laughs> I turn on my computer immediately once I get home. This is it. Ski, Emma, Asia, uh. The reason why their names are listed that way is because... S-E-A-L! Their initials made up the password! Detecting password... Unlocking X-Note! <gasps> it's correct! I can't believe it was this easy! Miss Asia was right! Oh, this is bad. I've been waiting for this day to come ever since I discovered the folder two years ago. I can't get myself to calm down. I'm really excited for this fanfic! Fan fiction. Oh, I've been getting into the fandom lately and I've read like all the good stuff and I just... Oh, to Assy! Oh, it's dedicated to me! You finally... I, oh, Mom, yeah. You finally managed to open the X note. I love this to you because this is something I'd like you to know when you get older. Sometimes, when the person that you think will be the uke is actually the <laughs> It was around the time you discovered your psychic abilities before our eventual meeting with a boy. A boy we called X. R-O-C. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah, this is the story of X. Essie, I'm home. Mommy! What's wrong? Your forehead, it's so hot. You were only three years old when you were hit by a sudden fever. It lasted for an entire week. And then it happened. Essie! That was the first time you showed signs of psychic abilities. I decided to go meet a fellow psychologist, an old classmate I knew since high school, junior high. Is it true? Is it true that your daughter is showing paranormal abilities after a long fever? Yep. I have read such documents before, documentations before, to think that it truly exists. So, what type of abilities does she have? She could raise multiple spoons and forks in the air without touching the you know, <laughs> Her abilities are just raising it <laughs> with her hands. <laughs> oh, that must be psychokinesis. It's more commonly known as telekinesis in the popular culture. The ability to use mind to control matter. You seem more enthusiastic. Ow! Ow! Okay? I hit the chair with my elbow. Oh, did you hit your funny bone? Oh, I, oh, hit my, no, okay. I hit my sad bone. <laughs> That's not as funny. My pain bone. Uh, Seem more enthusiastic <laughs> than I am. To tell you the truth, my oldest son is in the same situation. <gasps> he claimed that he had frequent out-of-body experiences. 
Oh yeah, this is a this is a what's his name's dad. So it's known as astral projection in parapsychology, one of the oldest known human manifestations of ESPN as far as psychic abilities go. It's also frequently associated with dreams. My oldest son told me about it a couple of months ago. I originally brushed it off as a mere psychological problem. You know, not my problem. You know, I don't care. It's all in your head. I don't care. Um, that is until I did an experiment. He could accurately depict the interior of a locked room without entering it. His ability is real. I didn't do anything about it because I thought it would eventually fade away. You know, whatever. However, the frequencies of astral projections are getting worse each day. There are times when he won't wake up for an extended period of time. I finally realized that I have to do something. Oh, uh, now I remember the end of this game. No, no, tell me. I'm not going to say okay. it, but I'm just saying I remember. All right. Can't wait. I'm reading this is ends right now. You're right. That's exactly how I feel, too. Essie is the only one, only one of my children my husband left behind for me. At the very least, I would like to give her a normal life. She can't control her powers at the moment. At this rate, there's no way she could attend a normal school. I have talked to Dr. Lull recently. <laughs> you mean the chairman of Orr's Corporate? Yes, he has a deep interest in paranormal research. I've met him several times in the past. He's a fucking dickwad. Those eyes are overflowing with disturbing emotions. It's as if they aren't from this world. It's as if they're Shinigami eyes. I understand, I understand. I've watched that anime recently as well. However, we cannot perform research without significant funding. There is no better candidate than him. I had promised my wife before she died that I will look after our children. And you know, I'm not so crazy about it. But I don't care if I have to sell my soul to the Shinigami myself. I will get those eyes. I will get those eyes. Oh, right. For the sake of the world, <laughs> there is no other choice. I have also asked Asia to lend us a hand. She is quite eager to help us, and you know, I know you two got a little something, something going on, so... That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be a great beta reader. I'm starting <laughs> to believe we can do this. With our powers, we can change the world. Skid managed to persuade Asia and I to help him. With the help, the large funding building Zen Extitute created. Extitute. <laughs> <laughs> the X stands for sexy. <laughs> it was known as prestigious school to public, but in reality, huge research laboratory children with psychic abilities. <laughs> that always goes well. We quit jobs at the same time decided to dedicate lives help children. So, that was the reason my mother helped to create the Zen Institute. The, the fan-run archive for fan works. It was for me. Miss Asia was right. Institute of our own. <laughs> Inst <laughs> she just didn't mention the connection to my psychic abilities. Huh? It's already morning. Fourteen. Great. I take a shower and prepare breakfast to refresh myself. Then I head back to my computer to read the remaining notes. Who are these children? I'm sorry, I have to sneeze. Okay, go for it. Damn! Bless you. Thank you. Continue. They are the survivors of the w Northern War. How do they end up here? Dr. Loyal found them on his last trip. Hmm, I see you have two adult woman voices. Yeah. Very impressive. I have many adult woman Very voices. impressed by your t adult I have, woman I have age many. I have many. Two. The only type of human that I do not have um, more than one voice for is actually adult. <laughs> Fun fact. Fun fact, yeah. He witnessed a large explosion near a swamp. It is tainted in red as if it were an enormous pool of blood. However, what surprised him were that most were, most were the survivors where they were. They were all of them kids. They were children. Oh, they look fucked up. What do you do? They look like shit. They also all look the same. 
<laughs> That's unbelievable. They all look the same? Children are usually the most susceptible to death during war. Yeah, not these children. Oh! <gasps> It's true that ESP awakenings often are associated with emotions, particularly trauma. War could easily traumatize anyone, especially children. Exactly. But are you sure all of them are psychics? It's your job to find the witch of them, my dear Emma. Emma. It's probably Dr. Loyal. <gasps> Oh my oh god! god. Was, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not that. I forgot that he <laughs> looks like fucking Toga. Right. <laughs> I brought all of them here because I have no means to identify which of them has ESPN. Inform, <laughs> inform me when you manage to pick the correct one. <laughs> what are you? What are you going to do the, to those that don't possess any power? Dispose of them. What? I'm just kidding, my dear. You can do whatever you want. I don't need them. I want to keep them here. Emma, I... Emma, I understand how you feel. However, Zen Institute is not an orphanage. There's no reason to keep unrelated children. You're the one who doesn't understand. My daughter is a part of this research, and so is Skit's son. For you, they might be nothing more than research materials. But I brought her here with the intention to help her, not confine her within this little space. She looks less lively every day since she came here. I'm sure if she had more friends. Let her do it, dear Asya. <gasps> the Zen Institute is huge! We have more than enough space. But it might be fun observing the special interact with the um, non-special. Besides, children are lovely, aren't they? Oh, don't, don't, Ooh. don't. <laughs> that's, that's her face. She's just like, like, don't. This is an interesting development. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry, Asia. I can't believe I just said that. You quit your job in order to help us, and yet I... I'm fine. But you are not. Emma, I... The Emma I admire is a strong woman. But as you are now, you let your emotions take over your judgment. Psychologists should not be compromised... Composed. Should be composed in any situation <laughs> to make sure the best decision... Sorry, I'm just losing my composure a little bit. Sorry. Ironic, but, you know. Weren't you the one who told me that? I understand, but... If it's about Essie, I just can't. In front of Essie, I am not a psychologist. I'm just her mother. But lately, I can't help but wonder if I've made the right decision. To Loyal, these children aren't here to be saved. They're merely toys for his enjoy- Ugh. Ugh, don't! Don't? Ugh. Ugh. And to think my daughter is still here. Ugh. I can't stand it. You still have sk and I. We will not allow Loyal to do as he please if please Ugh. don't. You have nothing to worry about. Asya. Thank you. For a sh oh wait, that's probably you. Yeah. For a short time, everything was fine, and then we discovered X. He was the one. I can't believe he was able to perform the miracle all by himself to save that many children at such a young age. What is his name? He refused to tell us. He's quite uncooperative. Ah. However, he will be a huge step for our research. Never before have we met anyone who possesses such great powers. That's true. Let's call him X, after my favorite TV show, The Powerpuff Girls. We shall perform intensive research on X from now on. 
Is that a good idea? <laughs> Everyone thought our research was going in the correct direction through the discovery of X. None of us foresaw the tragedy that would happen months later when he really? murdered me. Because that, hmm. The day X murdered Sk's son. Huh? It ended here. What happened after that? I have to know. Did L ever confess his feelings to light? Why did X take Skid's son life? Who is X? <gasps> Why did he flash through my mind? Could he be X? Is the boy in my dream X? Is he still alive? Is he a ghost? Was he responsible for Mother Skid's and Asia's death? What about Dr. Leah? What was his deal? Because he seemed like, what happened to the Zen Institute? What about the research? Does it still continue? Please write more. There are way too many missing links. I just need a conclusion to the story. Just one more chapter. I don't understand why Mother wanted me to see this. It's a, it's a work in progress. <laughs> How dare she make me read a whip? This has been a long day. I should take a nap. for several hours. And then I'm gonna go train. Oh, there's a little thing on the carousel too. A little weird bird thing. Um, shit, what was the last one that we did? I think, well, we had three of clairvoyance and we needed one more, right? Yeah, and we have need two more telepathy. Okay. So. That's all for today. Today is Sunday. I decided to spend the entire day reading Xnote again and thinking about what to do. <sighs> I thought the truth would be clear once I opened the Xnote. Yet I'm even more confused than before. Guess I'm gonna go train. Yep. Yep. Wait, oh well, that's, I yeah, still need one more. Yeah, that's fine. Whoa! That's another one. Yeah. Told you they get hotter! Ooh, that's all for today, and I, ooh, I was not... Rexus hasn't come here in a long time. I thought I could ask him for his opinion. Hmm? It's strange that I want the opinions of someone I barely know. Aside from, who do I not barely know? Yeah. For some reason, I feel that he'll show me the way through this. Huh? I thought I saw a shadow walking across the park for a second. Rexus, is that you? I decided to follow the shadow. God damn it, did we fuck up? This is the Zen Institute. Why did it lead to this place? The school sure is scary at night. Yuan isn't with me this time, but I have to do this. It's the 15th. Fuck. Yeah. We fucked up, I think. Well, it's How? just... I don't know. I think we might die. Let's go and uh, Well, let's find out, place. I guess. Let's go everywhere. No one's here. Am I expecting to see Ori or something? Who am I kidding? Since I'm here, I might as well go check the science lab. If I remember, it should be around this corner. The aura of death still lingers, but it's no longer as bad. There's nothing here, either. What am I doing wandering around the school at this time? Yes, yeah, seriously. What it's are not you? like I'm going to find anything. Huh? Blood? Whose blood is this? Before, it's my blood. It's my, it's me. It's my blood! This, this is, is my, my blood. blood. What is going on? Um, perhaps this is something you should not know. Is that how it is? Yep. Mother! My surroundings begin to fade away. 
I close my eyes as I enter a world of darkness without your sexy hands, and I miss you, Nightman, so bad. For eternity. Well, we fucked up. It's okay, we'll just, we'll come it's, back. We'll do it after yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah. After, well, right down that door. No. No, we're not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. <laughs> um, we'll come back after we're, like, at about the same spot, but not fucked up. Yes. Bye. Bye.